Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Uh, today is my birthday and <laughs> yeah, I just decided why not make a video talking about the build that I want to create for this year's NBA 2K18. Now, I know that there's only really been a lot of information rolling out for point guards and hey, guess what? Your boy is a point guard in NBA 2K, so I might as well talk to you guys about this. Now, I know a lot of people want to know how old I am. I just turned 30 years old, man. Yeah, man, um, I left the 20s behind, man. It's It's been a great 10 years uh, as a 20, in my 20s, as they would say. Um, but since I'm now 30, man, can we get 30K likes? Let's do it, man. Let's hit 30K likes right now, man. Let's do it. No, no, right now, hit that like button right now for 30K likes. Also... I, I was praying to God that this will happen on my birthday, but I'm hoping to get 500,000 subscribers ASAP. I'm hoping that you guys can make this happen for my B-Day, but uh, let's talk about these builds, man. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so I've narrowed it down to about three different builds that will get you to the promised land. Now, before I give you guys my build, I just want to open your eyes to the broad spectrum of NBA 2K18. Remember last year when a lot of people were creating shot creators out of nowhere for a short period of time? It was very, very short period of time. It was when... 2K dropped that final patch that gave shot creators inability across the board. It was a time where we used to get so mad at people just cheesing the moving shots and we couldn't stop it. Do you guys remember that time? If you do remember that time, I believe that 2K will go back to that, but not in a sense that moving shots will be cheese. It's just the simple fact that they now know what a shot creator is, all right? Let me dive in for a moment. The screenshot that you are currently looking at is a build of only point guards in their archetype badges. Now, if you guys notice, for every shot creator first primary skill set, you will notice that they all really have ankle breaker gold, but if you're a pure uh, ball handler with, sh with shot creator, you get ankle breaker hall of fame. Do you guys see this, man? If you're a shot creator with hall of fame ankle breaker, like what? Just imagine breaking ankles and still being able to hit the shot on the move. Now, the other builds, which is Shot Creating Sharp and Shot Creator Driving and Finishing and Shot Creator Three Point Shooting, all have Ankle Breaker Goal, which means you can still get separation from the person that's guarding you and hit shots. Now, what I want to show you guys right now is a screenshot of all the builds for Point Guard and all attributes tied to that build now I, I just want to say one thing man a lot of people are gonna say but what about all the other builds what about all the other dual archetypes none of that matters guys I'm telling you right now shot creating is and has to be your primary skill I know that you want to create maybe a driving finishing something or a sharp shooting something or a passing ball handling something no do not do that this is a big PSA guys do not make a build without shot creating as your primary skill because you will lose out on the necessary things you need to either get open hit shots dribble get to the lane everything everything boils down to shot creating do you think that people like kevin durant or kyrie irving or you know any nba player that is at an elite level would you think they would be able to do anything without being able to create their own shot that's the major iso movement it's shot creating guys in order to be great you have to know how to create your shot. It's not about just knowing how to dribble. What happens when you can't dribble anymore? Are you going to shoot? Are you going to do will you have enough stamina to get to the rack? Will you have the ability to finish? That's what it's all about, guys. So you have to create a shot creating something. All right, guys, now that I have this screenshot up for you, I wanted to show you the top three choices that I was trying to go over to make my decision. Now, we already know that we want shot creating, but when it comes to your secondary, 
I want it to go over three point shooting, passing and ball handling, and driving and finishing. Now these are definitely gonna be the top tier reasons why people wanna build this shot creating build, but don't forget defending, post scoring, rebounding, and pure shot creating isn't that bad either. It's not really that bad. The only thing that hinders you is of course your dribbling and your ball handling as well as some of your three point stats and of course the lateral quickness and the speed itself. Now in the top three builds that I wanted to go over, the driving, the finishing, the three point shooting and the passing and ball handling, they all have premier stats. When you think about it in hindsight, Driving and finishing is amazing because you can have a 15 maxed three-point shot, which is pretty good for a person that doesn't focus on long-range shooting. You can definitely hit corner shots. You can definitely hit wide open threes, but when it comes to pure shooting, three-point shooting is always going to be the best because it maxes out at 24 for your mid-range. You can get up to 20 on your three-point shooting, which is really good, but also passing and ball handling gives you 17 for three-point shooting, but it only gives you 15 for dunks. Now, being a player that I am, I know for a fact that rim grazers are definitely gonna be in my future because rim grazers are usually the best packages. So when you think about it, passing and ball handling, gives you a lot more to offer because with that speed, that 18 to 22 speed over the three point shooter build, it really works better guys. And you have better ball handling, which means the higher the ball handling, the more probability that you will be able to speed boost. But now that I'm back and um, we're done looking at those screenshots, I wanted to give you guys my real deal Holyfield build that I will be creating on day one. I know you guys probably are like, bro, we don't went through like a whole informative video. It's insane on how many different types of builds and dual arcs that you might be able to build. When thinking about it, if I created a shot creating driving finisher, I would only have one Hall of Fame badge, which is a big no-no. When it comes to the shot creating three point shooter, if you guys notice the badges that are lined up, Ankle Breaker Gold is a very good badge. But if you look at the other badges tied into that three-point shooter and the passing and ball handling, they only have one badge in difference that is Hall of Fame. And that is Ankle Breaker, guys. They have tireless score. They have difficult shots on Hall of Fame. And of course, mid-range Deadeye is a good badge to have on Hall of Fame. But when you're a ball handler as a shot creator, you have it on gold. So guess what? I'm making a shot creating ball handler, guys. Because it's almost exactly the same build that I had last year with a little bit better shooting wise as far as the badges go as well as I will be able to ball handle I will most likely be able to speed boost and I'll probably be able to create this character from six foot to six seven and do all the same things I'm making what I've had almost every year in 2k if you guys notice if you watch any of my streams if you watch any of my videos for park I'm very good at getting green releases on moving shots, and that was with a pure ball handler. We know this. I'm able to hit corner threes. I yell, green, ranger, every time around. So I'm able to hit corner threes, and I was a pretty good dunker. I was posterizing a couple people last year. A lot of people didn't know how my little six foot six one dude was doing it, but I was doing it, man. So... For me guys, that is the best build possible for point guard. Also, one major thing, a lot of people are probably gonna say, hey bro, why don't you create many different builds? Why don't you just create all three? Let me let you understand something about 2K's new rep system. It's not necessarily about rep anymore, but it's more so about your ability to get to the 99 overall. That means if you load in a shot creating sharpshooter and that player may be at like an 85 overall or 92 overall 
inside the neighborhood, you cannot then load in a newly created shot creating driving finisher and think that that person will have the 92 overall at the neighborhood. It's it all locks into whatever player you load up. So when they say you're immortalized, this is going to be a grind. This is not going to be something where you can boost all the stats up real quick, play a couple games and get to 99 overall. That's not the case here, guys. This is the new rep system, and it's going to take time for you to build up this character, which means when you create characters, all of them start from the base, from the bottom, and you have to build them up individually, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys spam up that like button, 30K likes for finally turning 30 gang gang also make sure you guys subscribe i'm trying to get the 500,000 subscribers so i hope you guys show me some love there this is your boy ikc signing out peace gang gang chase money